This is a uh, slideshow film uh, done on the Sunshine Coast in British Columbia of uh, birds, plants, insects, and some people. This is a Rufus hummingbird, female, feeding in a Nootka rose, which is a native wild plant in British Columbia. Here's another one of a female Rufus. This is the male Rufus, a bit more colorful, but still uh, it's beautiful. Here's the two babies in the nest made of uh, lichens, mosses, um, so on. They even use spider webs to uh, uh, make the nest more intact. These are a couple of babies here. They're about 12 days old. They usually leave the nest at around 16 to 18 days. This is a female, a male, Rufus. Yeah, so it's a tiny little feet. This is Misty Dawn. This is a uh, photo of where I live, looking across to Vancouver Island. Texada on the left. Here's a Rufus sided toey. A common uh, bird here. They like the uh, lower brushy areas to uh, feed and nest in. They nest low down. This is in the winter shot here. Here's a female with her babies on the nest, made of twigs and uh, dried salal leaves. A shot here of the Ragged Islands, just up at the towards Desolation Sound, just uh, by Lund. Here's a progression of the deer fern, a beautiful fern, showing the different uh, stages of growth. They're quite a beautiful fern, one of my favorites. Here is the uh, plant of the deer fern, showing the new fronds. And then here is a uh, whole grove of deer fern next to a, a swampy area where they li really like to grow. This is a glaucous wing gull skimming along over the water. This is a variegated meadowhawk dragonfly filmed on the Scout Mountain. They're extremely beautiful. I like it around ponds and streams and so on. This is a crane fly, first accidentally introduced into BC in 1965 and then they've spread down into California. This is a spot on Malaspina Strait. This is a bog Laurel, photographed at Deer Lake. They like boggy areas and, uh, and uh, near ponds that are in transition to uh, become uh, bogs. This is Misty again. A scene here of uh, on the Wildwood Bluffs overlooking uh, Harwood and Texada on the left towards Vancouver Island. The white fawn lily, they do grow here. They're beautiful. This is a shot at Duncan, BC at an Anglican church. It's probably about 130 years old now. There's the white fawn lilies there. They don't cut any grass until all the flowers have died down and gone to seed. This is the pink fawn lily growing along with the white fawn lily. They, they will grow together. This shot here is uh, some white fawn lilies down at Slyaman River at the hatchery. Here's the pink fawn lily. I haven't found any in the Fall River area, but I photographed this over in Fort Lee. This is uh, April performing at our fall fair. 
She's on stilts. She's up about uh, another four feet in the air. Here's a Douglas squirrel, quite common in our area. In the summer, they sleep in the trees. They build a uh, ball-shaped nest out of uh, leaves and twigs. And in the winter, they will sleep in uh, trees uh, holes. This is a bird's nest fungi. They usually grow on uh, kind of semi-rotten branches up in the trees and then the winds will knock them down. I found these on the ground. And uh, <clears throat> those little seeds will get thrown out of the, uh, the little fungi. And that's how they spread. This is Misha at the fall fair uh, in her booth showing her artwork. And here is the spirit of adventure. A big canoe, about a 36 foot canoe, coming into Lund, BC. Here's the red throated loon, which nests on Powell Lake, which is right here in Powell River. And uh, they, they always, uh, here's their two eggs on a rotten log. They have to be close to the water because they're not very good walking on land. And you can see at the foreground how easy it is for her to get back into the water, her or him, because they're, they're very similar. A male and female. Here's a scene uh, in Wildwood, which is part of Paul River, looking out over Harwood and Vancouver Island. This is our uh, famous cement hulks down in the foreground. A uh, lovely scene. Here's uh, Misty again. This is a sawwet owl, a very tiny owl that is uh, frequents this area, of course. And the great gray owl, which is an owl that gets almost three feet high in length. The screech owl, another owl that uh, we have here. Quite a small owl, only about six inches high. And the snowy owl, a very lovely owl. Here's a great horn owl. They go up to about uh, two feet long. There's a barred owl. He's uh, displaying here because he feels a bit threatened. So he's sort of all puffed up. Here he is sitting on a, on a branch. Here's Debbie with our cat, Bobby. Here's a heart-leaved tway blade. They are orchids. They grow here as well. Uh, they only grow to about uh, 10 centimeters high. Usually you can see the two leaves. They're heart-shaped. Here's another color. There's, they are various colors. This is Harvest Brodea, a lily that grows on the bluffs in Wildwood. And uh, this is on a steep uh, cliff side. This is the gnome plant. It's a plant that uh, before it uh, becomes uh, out into the flowers, it looks like a, a brown cauliflower and then it bursts open to reveal these lovely uh, pink and yellow little flowers. Here's Charlie, photographed out at Lund. This is the house finch. They're quite common here. This is the death camas. It's a very poisonous plant. We have lots in this area. You do not want to eat one of these plants. Uh, you will die if you uh, eat one of these. You'll start foaming at the mouth and uh, you'll go into a coma. Here's the blue camas. The native people harvested these for the bulbs. And uh, they used to steam them, steam them in pits, and uh, they're a valuable food source. Here's an albino orchid. They are not common, of course, but uh, there's albino plants in, in our wild areas here, too. This is a western coral root. That's what it looks like normally. Another uh, lovely portrait. 
This is the red-legged uh, grasshopper. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is. Some of them are very hard to identify. Here he is again, uh, clutching onto a, a, some dead grass. The pine white butterfly, they're common here. It's a beautiful butterfly. The western tiger swallowtail, they love the uh, butterfly bush. Here is a hummingbird moth. Lucky to get this photograph, we don't see them too often. One of the bears that frequents our property. And two little cubs uh, jostling around and playing, having a good time. Here's a bear that's not quite two years old. He has a white chest and the white on his muscle. Here's Christy and her little baby Flint. A lovely portrait. This is a uh, blue darner. It's a dragonfly over our pond flying. Here he is again, this is the male. He's flying over the pond, uh, catching insects and so on. This one is a mating pair. The male is the one on the top, the female on the bottom, and they're connected up there and depositing eggs. This is the Pacific Fork Tail. It's another dragonfly, a small dragonfly. They're common. And this one is a this is a mating pair as well. This is a western sand wasp, photographed on Texeda. They build their nest in the sand. This they have this beautiful green eyes. Beautiful insect. Here's an Asian ladybug. And uh, this is the end of the slideshow. Thanks for watching.